Capricorn, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is a um, oracle card reading, oracle energy reading. So it's not a horoscope. Um, however, there is an extended full tarot card spread that expands and articulates and even goes into specifics and, and personalizes the energies that we pick up on for Capricorns um, here in the Oracle card spread. I don't date the videos anymore, um, but I do make a new Capricorn video every single week. So if you want them fresh off the press, subscribe to my channel. You'll help the channel grow and you can also then ring that bell and know right when I upload your favorite content. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the link for the, the um, extended is below. Capricorn, let's just get right into your energy. Capricorn, oh, Capricorn. The two cards have popped out that share, the, that share your crowning energy. Know your worth, but it's compromised and take time out. So this is a sense of uh, the, your sense of self. Um, basically have feeling, feeling like you're being squeezed into a circumstance or a situation that you don't belong in, that you don't fit in and you're not comfortable with, um, you're, and it's building, there's tension and, 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 and aggressiveness building in you because of it, because you have to be something that you're not to survive the circumstance that you're faced with. Um, this is like a diminished sense of self. Five plus four equals a cent is, is nine. So something is coming to a head, something is coming to a head, something, uh, like deep inside of you is coming out as in this necessity, this want, this need, these desires um, that are now in some ways blocked or disabled because of circumstances that are just blocking you in and holding you back. Double nines. So two nines, nine plus nine is 18, which adds back up to nine because nine is that special number. Um, there is an ending to a cycle, a conclusion or a um, <clears throat> revelation or revealing that helps to end something or finish something, or there's an anticipation like you, you need this to end because it's it's blocking you in and holding you back or making you feel like your sense of self like like it's almost like you're, you feel like you are on trial for being who you are. Um, and, and that is, that could be that plutonic meetup with Saturn, a sense of being completely scrutinized and everything that you do and everything that you've been, um, being scrutinized in a deep depth and in detail. And it's like, how can I be wrong when I've been right this whole time? But it's now like, it, it feels to you like you're being nitpicked. Like every little aspect of yourself is being raked over the coals and people are going through it and saying, well, this doesn't work. And this like, okay, hindsight is twenty twenty assholes like thanks for basically uh being okay with me up until this point and now all of a sudden you're figuring out everything that's wrong with me um um you know every, every yeah it's like you're figuring out like i'm the scapegoat in other words i guess i'm i guess i'm the scapegoat like that's the feeling that's crowning your energy right now is feeling like the scapegoat feeling like you have to defend yourself and that you're being put on trial and that you're like people are being or you're being aggressed against or you're being attacked. Ooh. Okay, Capricorn. 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 There you go. Capricorn. 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 <coughs> The abundant universe will provide so something coming to a head this is taurus energy maybe even a little defense coming in your favor to demonstrate or at least fight back and show look at look this is all that i've done this is look at all that i've given look at all that i've created look at all that i've built look at all of the resources this is really saturnian energy like in my defense look at all that we've done with me in charge look at all that i've provided look at all that i've accomplished it's like throwing things in people's face to show but this is the abundance and you reveled in it and you rolled in it and you took it and it was fine with you up until a certain point and now it's like hey like where where are you now where are you now this is a reminder of 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 a of a conscious 3D reminder of the abundance that either is in your life or that you it's for me, I feel like this is more the abundance that you have created in general and, and having to defend it and showing that this is in reverse. Something is unbalanced, underappreciated, not being economical, being maybe even a little bit frivolous. Um, this is Libra energy. 
being thrown off balance. Yeah, it's like it's like the resources that you had. It's like going from like you know, it, it's it's not like going from zero to a hundred. It's like going from a hundred to zero. It's like the the engine falling out of the car. A sense of you had so much and now there's no stability at all. Really feeling like. I think ultimately the carpet has been pulled out from underneath you. Now, this isn't to say that you can't recover or to say that you have absolutely nothing that because you do still have resources, but feeling this sense of such a depletion, such a diminished, even maybe even the way people support you or look at you or talk to you or, or, um, uh, listen to you. Maybe they don't listen. Maybe you don't feel heard at all. A sense of taking a big hit to what made you feel abundant. What made you feel valuable, I think is a, a better word. I'm sorry. I have to readjust. Um, yeah, it's almost like your value has taken a hit. Um, yeah. Now, when it comes to Taurus energy, that's usually finances, finances and 3d resources. And, and because of that, and because you're so connected to and tied into, um, um, earning, earning and being successful in the 3d realm, you are an earth sign. Um, this is, a, this is a real personal hit. So if this was another sign, it might not, if this was another sign, it may not be as personal a hit because finances may not mean as much. And it's not a statement of your character of, you know, finances mean too much. No, this is a statement of it just, it, your sense of self is tied into your ability to earn and your ability to make your way in the in this 3D world. And when that is diminished, your sense of self is then thrown off. And I feel like you do. You feel like you feel right now like you are being you're put on trial. Like you, this is the next OJ Simpson trial and you're sitting in the juice seat. Like like you feel like people have already decided that you're guilty without wanting to even review the facts. Not to say that OJ was guilty. I'm just, oh my God, I don't even want to get into that. But, um, but that's the sense of like, uh, you know, guilty until proven innocent. That's how you feel right now. Or this is a reverse energy and this is something that somebody that you're dealing with and you're being very accusatory touring them and not giving them the benefit of the doubt. And just imagine how you would feel if that's how you were being treated. This is chameleon, act as if, feeling like you can't be yourself, change, like you have to constantly fit in and change everything about who you are just to like be able to survive right now. Because if you were who you were out loud, it's almost like you have to hide who you are, like, like, um, you know, have to hide, hide out so that the, you know, like, oh, I don't want to use that example. Um, um, yeah, like, like if you were who you were out loud, you would be prosecuted. This is you trying to blend in and trying to like get the attention off you because you're tired of being in the hot spot. Um, this is co-create with spirits an energy of feeling like there's a, a, a warning or a foretelling or, um, ominous and ominous energy around you feeling like, you know, the raven has descended and the, the church bell is tolling. This is a, a sense of gloom that's looming around you, but that's not really what this is. Spirit is a messenger of truth. Um, raven is a messenger of, 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 you know, he doesn't deliver the bad news. He do, delivers the truthful news. And I get that this could hurt. I get that this could scare. I get that this, especially if it's change, which is very difficult for you, could feel like you're being attacked. But Raven really is a messenger of truth and a messenger of warning to give you time to prepare and to help you understand exactly what it is you're up against. And if you're open, this is essentially divine timing. Um, and this is your central energy. So this is definitely the time to um, reassess your situation, a, a, a time to be really, really honest and truthful with yourself and about who you are and allow yourself to break down if you need to, because spirit wants you to get real. Spirit wants to, you to get sincere and true. And, and it, what, like it's, it's leaving yourself in a very vulnerable position, but now is the time for you to be vulnerable. The, you're, this is all happening for a reason. And I know the reason is there's a change that has to happen not just externally, but also internally. So even if you're a scapegoat now, you're not going to be 
uh, in front of the firing squad forever. Um, turn knowledge into wisdom. So six plus seven equals 13, four. Um, this is your psyche and psychic connections and your ability to connect psychically to other people. You can feel something is coming. That's what this card means. Um, trust it because you're right. This is a sense of something is lurking. Something is on the way. Um, uh, you can you can feel it coming in the air i would plan for it i would be ready i would be ready and and you know like i would i would be all i'm saying is i would be ready because you, whatever you're feeling whatever you can feel coming toward you um you're right um a lot of psychic energies have been really um pushed out and and uh, heightened re recently so this is a sense of you can feel the destiny you can feel the um the urgency you can feel something coming it's almost like you might have actually already had premonitions uh use your mind wisely so um oh i understand seven is 11 uh, awakening awakening to the psychic tendencies awakening to your psychic abilities um but what does that mean uh do we react in paranoia do we we react in fear do we react in a reactionary way and do we react scared no this is a sense of be ready for the impossible to happen because it's about to happen and if you already knew it was about to happen then capricorn you have the ability to prepare are you ready for this because this is the biggest change of your life i'm telling you it's coming at you it's coming at you but you're being forewarned and this is i this transcendental moment in everything that you can be it's you're being forced into being everything that you can be and it feels like you're being set upon and it feels like you're being attacked but that's only because you like the structure you like to know you like to plan you hate surprises but the universe isn't giving you the information they're saying no you will have faith you will have faith and i will not explain myself to you and you hate that energy but it is your challenge and it is your teacher right now um who we are i'm telling you scorpio did not get light energy either um time to heal this is kundalini energy this is that snake that poison that energy that comes from deep down inside of your gut you need to use it. You need to access it. This is something that you've repressed and suppressed maybe so long that it's about to rip out of you and spew poison and toxin. But the truth is, isn't that a part of you? Isn't that the real? It's almost like maybe you're, you, like I said, you could be the great prosecutor too. You could be going to be throwing accusations at somebody or putting somebody on trial. It could be very much that Saturnian energy coming out of you to, to hold somebody accountable or wanting to hold somebody accountable. And if you've held this back, I'm telling you it's coming out. Your venom is going to come the out or you feel like somebody's venom is about to come out towards you. Either way, there is a little bit of deserving here. There's a necessity. Somebody needs the venom in their face to understand the severity of this circumstance and situation um be at home this is taking shelter and feeling safe this is cleansing out yourself for your heart chakra or defending your homestead defending um defending what you feel you deserve to hold on to um and then watch and wait trying to have patience piscean energy um trying to have patience you could be dealing with a pisces uh, maybe this is, could be also a healing energy, somebody that may be helping you in a circumstance or through a situation, um, taking not, they're taking you into their heart, wanting to share somebody's heart, them taking you into their home, wanting shelter, wanting, wanting to basically not be in control and to be taken care of. Um, this is paternal energy, a father figure that nurtures and loves and provides a home and a shelter as well as a womb for his unborn children because that's what a uh, seahorse does. But this is a man that makes a home. This is a man making a home. Interesting. Um, porcupine, time for a beginner mind. Um, a restart, a hard restart. The energy of 8 plus 4 is 12. 1 plus 2 is 3. Being in alignment, body, mind, and spirit. Being bristly and being defensive and not caring who you offend. So this is that blatant porcupine energy in your uh, grounding position. Being ready. Being ready to be attacked. That's what you are. You're getting out your spikes. You're getting ready. You're being, you're prepared. Um, and you don't care. You're walking into the room with full armor out. You, you're, you're 
putting little stickers on your armor, uh, you know, because, hey, if I have to wear this, this is, this is it. I'm not hiding it. Know that I am ready and I, I will, I will fire back if you come at me. Uh, and then nothing is wasted. Uh, six plus three is nine. You have a lot of nines here. There's a conclusion coming. There's a huge conclusion coming and maybe somebody hurts you or you feel like you have to defend yourself towards somebody um, um, or defend your feelings against somebody. This is a sense of um, um, maybe even defending your home, um, feeling attacked or... Being on the defensive could be on the defensive on behalf of somebody. Also, um, finding this is the card that is the treasure in the trash heap card. This is when you're you're picking through things and really you master this energy is you're able to pick through things and find the abundance where other people couldn't find it. Um, a sense of looking at it from a higher perspective, seeing a larger picture and pulling out those things, those bits and pieces that you need, uh, pulling, pulling, pulling abundance out of your a-hole. That's what this is. Um, um, but it's also a sense of like a master recycler. I don't know. Hold on. Let me, let me think about this energy. Let me turn the camera around. Hold on. So because this is in your grounding energy, it's almost like, it's almost like you are figuring out how to make the most of a very difficult, tough situation, battering up the hatches, closing up the hatches, closing down the windows, closing everything down, um, taking the defensive measures that you need. Maybe you're bar um, hunkering down with somebody who is being protective or being defensive, of, defensive with towards somebody who um, you care a great deal about, Capricorn. This is an energy of... Um, um, protecting what you have that's what it is it's like everything that you have right now you're closing everything in you're closing it down and you're defending it with everything that you are because you have um that maternal father energy and then you have that paternal mother energy so this is the defensive aggressive mother and this is the loving nurturing father you could be very well experiencing like roles in your life being reversed like if you're um, feminine, then it's almost like you have to take on a, a masculine, fiery, aggressive energy. And if you're usually masculine, it's like you have to take on a more passive inner strength kind of energy, feeling like there's a juxtaposition in your life. Um, um, like the roles have been reversed or flipped somehow Capricorn, um, and trying to, to uh, hanker down and take on those responsibilities, um, in defense of your family and what you have, you really are a hundred percent on the defensive and protecting because you can feel something coming in the air. You can feel it. I can feel it coming in the air at night. There's there's something on the wind and you hate everything about it. And you might be even calling it out and attacking it and lurching at it and defending yourself at it because you know what? You just can't hold it inside anymore. You're, you're done trying to repress it or suppress it. And at one point, you wait, may start out trying to hide, trying to fit in just so you don't stick out like a sore thumb or the imbalance feels like it's lessened, but it's not going to work. Eventually, it's all going to be like just lash, lashed out, probably because it's been hidden too long. It's been repressed or suppressed for too long. So this is the timing. This is the timing when the darkness comes into the light. And, you know, at one point, we all have to face our darkness darkness Capricorn and this is that time this is the time when it's just in your face coming right at you or more importantly it's coming from you and um ultimately uh like I said you could be the one holding the gavel so let's go in and see a little bit more about this energy of what you you feel is on the air what you feel is coming and then we'll also get in any other messages that that need to come out and we'll also get into your romance reading I'll see you guys over there